Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to another exhibition match. This time, we're going to be on Altair Crossing. Watching Anarchy vs. Little Money Web. This is Shadow Free 3 commentating, and let's get started. So, Altair Crossing, as you'll see very immediately, has a lot of objects on the map. It is a very reclaim heavy map. This is actually kind of unusual, but it's something to note. It's a very important thing to note about this map. It's not uncommon that players will start out, as we can see right now, actually, dirtbag coming from Anakin, but we see, actually, yeah, there we go. There's a little bunny map getting a rector, getting a constructor up to quickly reclaim all of these trees, mostly, but still some rocks for metal. Trees give energy, rocks give metal, and all the resources you can get are useful. Though, surprisingly, he's not immediately reclaiming. It's actually kind of bizarre. Usually, that's what you do. Anyway, Anakin going for a very quick dirtbag startup. Dirtbags are essentially just useful for scouting. You can use them to block paths, but it's a little bit tricky to do. Used to be that you do it a lot more often with vehicles, and you probably still do, but as of the last major patch, they also block infantry. I should say, they also block bots, rather. So the, the hill that they generate there is large enough to block bots, though any worker can easily terraform that back down. Most players just tend not to. And there we go. Little Bunny Rabbit is reclaiming. Well, Anarchid is also reclaiming, getting himself up Convict, and getting himself up as well some Raiders, so both players are getting into the reclaim game very quickly. Like I said, absolutely expected on this map due to the sheer number of resources just lying in wait for workers to come along and eat them up. It looks like Anarchid is a bit more focused on reclaiming into these metal extraction points. Not focused on making his entire economy based on reclaim. I have seen it actually done quite well on, I believe, Cooper Hill, which is another map that has a lot of reclaim that's also very green. It has more of a smooth slope, though. It doesn't have the, these really sharp slopes, or really sharp plateaus in the middle of the map. At any rate, that game, I believe God was playing, and there was about seven workers being used by him, and it works surprisingly well. Or not too surprisingly well when you consider the amount of reclaim you get. Small tick coming up to our supporter, Glaive Force, coming from Little Bunny Wabbit. The Bandits... Doing a pretty decent job fending them off. Neither player actually able to deal too much damage. The tick would have been very devastating had Anakin not seen it coming, but of course he did, and he avoided it pretty well, losing only one bandit to that. While Little Bunny Wabbit continued to expand towards the north, getting some defense turrets up, while Anakin also getting his defense turrets up and got him up sooner, so he's building his metal extraction points, or metal extractors, on the metal extraction points. Anakin actually expanding in both directions, north and south, but the north expansion being very quickly stopped. Little Bunny Wabbit making sure to not let that go through. And going towards the south as well to harass, making sure that he basically doesn't allow any expansions he can avoid allowing. Anarchid going for standard beam laser energy cell commander. Gained level 1 with that one, while Little Bunny Wabbit has not morphed at all, which, given Little Bunny Wabbit, is a bit surprising. And we just missed, her, missed a roach going off. That's the shield factory suicide bomb unit, much like the tick, except it just deals damage. Anyway, enough bandits are going to be able to take care of these glaives, simply outnumbering them. Regardless of any individual differences, bandits tend to be a bit better than glaives. They cost more, but they usually are a bit more individually effective. However, it does not matter when the bandits are outnumbering the glaives, because they just straight up win. And Little Bunny Wabbit's harassments have all been fended off. Another tick coming as well with his glaives. And a rector here, you should probably take a look at that one, because that that's not going where it should be. It's just hanging out on that hill. It's it's idle. It's insubordinate. But he is expanding, he is reclaiming, he is getting his economy going well. Anarchid also has his economy going quite nicely. Both players are... Actually, the Anarchid's doing better, though he's... Both players are about the same in terms of their stable economy, but Anarchid seems to be reclaiming a lot more. Taking advantage of all of Little Bunny Wabbit's forces that had come in and gotten destroyed. Another Roach going off and not really doing too much. Both times players micromanaging quite nicely away from that. Once again, more bandits overwhelming the Glaives to harass. No further Glaives coming in. Tick at the center of the map. So if Anakin tries to move out too much, his bandits will get taken out by the Tick, but he does not seem to be overextending. Little Bunny Wabbit doing his best to try to bait those bandits. Actually, no, the bandits are starting to move out. Anakin has to be really careful that they don't get baited. He is not changing their move state though, he's keeping them on the standard roam st or standard maneuver state, which means they are not going to be too easy to bait, but they are still something that he has to take control of manually if he wants to make sure they stay in his base and don't fall into this tick trap right here. 
While to the north, Little Bunny Bob continues to expand, and Anarchid has taken most of his side of the map, has not, however, expanded further north and south, continuing to simply focus more on reclaim. And a Roach coming in here, now managing to deal quite a bit of damage, getting rid of quite a few of the Glaives. The Bandit's able to outnumber the Glaives, while Roach is able to take care of them. But the Tick coming in, Tick will be able to disable half of the Bandit, actually all the Bandits, while Glaive just comes in here to finish them off. Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow 33 apologizing for my computer locking up. Sorry about that. Anyway, back to the game. We were watching Anarchid versus Little Bunny Wabbit on Altair Crossing, and we'd just seen Anarchid get basically beaten back in his own base. Did a really good job pushing off Little Bunny Wabbit's harassment. Little Bunny Wabbit coming in with a nice little tick and managing to disable a ton of bandits, killing all of Anarchid's bandits at a stroke. So we shall get started from there where we left off before my computer went to kaput. Hopefully it won't happen again for tonight. We shall see. However, what I can be sure of is that Anarchid has no military units right now. He is pretty much defenseless. He has this Roach coming up, which should be able to get rid of these Rockos if they aren't careful. But it looks like it will just get rid of a single Glaive. That's all it's going to manage to do. Little Bunny Wabbit, he has actually about the same number of Metal Extractors as Anarchid does. But he has obviously much stronger military coming in, taking out... One of Anarchid's Metal Extractors, not a huge loss, but still, Anarchid now slightly behind where Little Bunny Wabbit is. Anarchid actually is... How was he doing for economy? Most of his economy is Metal Extractor, so he is still good. The rest of it is his, constru is his commander, basically. Commanders have a by-default income, so it's not a big deal. He does have... Well, he has enough, basically. He has but four metal coming from his commander. My point is, Reclaim isn't his biggest source of income. He does have a healthy, stable income. However, he doesn't have a particularly good economy. His military is coming up. So I should say, he doesn't have a particularly good military, but it is starting to build up. Roach doing what it can. Not bad use of defensive structures, and really good use of a Roach there. Getting rid of a couple of the Rockos. Another one gotten rid of by the Stinger. And the Stinger here is going to be rather difficult to get rid of, though. It's still something that can be taken out by numbers. And these Rockos are actually doing a number on it. They will die within a couple hits, but these Glaives are distracting the Stinger well enough that it's... Actually, the Stinger is going to go down from the looks of it. These Glaives keep distracting it, and that keeps the Rockos from being targeted. And the Rockos are the only real threat to that, which means Little Bunny Web is doing a great job taking out these defenses here. The one of the Rockos going down, the distraction not lasting long enough, and the other one also going down. So this Stinger has been successful for the most part. Shield Black Factory at half health. Little Bunny Web doing a great job just streaming in a bunch of units from his factory. All Glaives, while Anarchid doing what he can with a mix of Roaches, Outlaws, and Bandits as is fairly typical, but we don't see a lot of those units in play right now because they are going down as soon as they were coming out. Right now, Anarchid actually does now have a chance to build up, having fended off the assault, or at least cause it to be moved elsewhere, moved towards the south, and try to see if there's anything there, which Anarchid doesn't actually have. He hasn't been expanding as much as Little Bunny Wabbit, or at least not in the same pattern. In fact, he does have less stable economy than Little Bunny Wabbit. He's about three mechs behind at this point. So far, not actually a big deal. Little Bunny Wabbit, his... Well, his economy is about 22 metal income, while Anarchid is also running a 22 metal income. Primarily from overdrive. That's how he's managing to pull it off. He's using these power plants to overdrive the metal extractors instead of just building a bunch of metal extractors, which, as we can see, Little Bunny Wabbit just building metal extractors and not supporting them at all, now finally getting power infrastructure to get them extra support. More forces coming into Anarchid's base, but at this point it looks like they are basically just feeding Anarchid metal should he choose to reclaim it, which he surprisingly has not, actually. He does have a Caretaker, however, and that will take care of it. The Caretaker will just grab all the metal from here, and that will go right into Anarchid's coffers, though admittedly at this point, Anarchid doesn't really need it right now. He's actually going to need to find other ways to spend his money besides just that one factory, though with the Caretaker, that does allow him to boost the factory, but the Caretaker can only reclaim or assist. It cannot do both at once. Little Bunny Wabbit doing a nice job keeping map control at the center. He does have a Glaive taking out one of the constructors, making sure that Anakid can't expand too much. Anakid, for his part, setting up roaches around the map, making sure that he can't lose too much sight of what's going on. And, of course, if the Glaives go in the wrong spot, they will die. And these guys are about to go into the wrong spot and about to die! No, not quite! Never mind! Half of the Glaives going down. Little Bunny Wabbit's entire expeditionary force basically destroyed. A couple Glaives being able to walk home. Another Roach going off, getting rid of a single Glaive. Not as effective, but still quite scary. So, Little Bunny Wabbit has 
lost those forces. However, he's still doing quite well for himself. Anakin, at this point though, like I said, with the Caretaker and with more Builders, this is the big thing. You can actually use the Builders now to get the economy he needs, to get the metal he needs from all these units that Little Bunny Rabbit has sent in. Now, Anakin moving out a bit more, pushing out slowly but surely, taking the map and using these roaches very effectively. Well, okay, I was about to say very effectively. Getting rid of a couple of glaives here and there, which for the cost of a roach compared to the cost of a glaive, let's see. Glaives cost 65 metal. Roaches, on the other hand, they cost 160 metal. So, no, that has not been paying off, actually. Anakin's got to be a bit more careful about that. Those roaches have not been making costs. The one that got rid of the six, the six glaives over in the center of the map, that definitely made costs, but the rest of them, not so much. However, if they can get rid of these Rockos, a couple Rockos for a Roach is definitely a fair trade. And that's exactly what Anakin's going for. Another Roach coming in here, and Little Bunny Rabbit getting away from that, but losing four Glaives to it, that did make cost. That right there was 260 metal. Worth of Glaives going down to 160 metal worth of Roaches. So Anakin doing a very nice job with his Roaches. He's managed to take actually half the map at this point, starting to explore along the south and expand around there, and... The north as well. He will be meeting up with Little Bunny Rabbits. Actually, not just meeting up with harassing quite effectively. Little Bunny Rabbit has no defenses towards the north. All of his forces are concentrated in the center as he was trying to do a piercing strike in Anakin's main or Anakin's starting position. But at this point, it's kind of moot. He's now losing metal extractors to the north. Little Bunny Rabbit. He is going for a direct assault. At this point, I'd say. I'd say it's actually not a bad idea, though he probably should go towards the periphery as well, try to counter harass. Going for a direct assault is probably just going to end up with him giving more and more metal to Anakin, especially given that Anakin now has these thugs up. And while thugs are, like most shield units, fairly vulnerable to skirmishers, the shields just mean the inaccuracy of skirmishers is meaningless. It's still going to be hard to break. At this point, I really would think Little Bunny Rabbit's best off harassing, losing a couple more glaives to a roach. Not the biggest deal, but... Still not a great idea. Zeus is coming in. These should help break the line. Zeus is wonderful assault unit, especially for breaking defenses. And will be able to get through the shields. EMP, or Lightning, doesn't really care too much about shields. And Anakin coming in harassing from the south. Little Bunny Rabbit's main base. Not able to do too much. These solar plants getting in the way enough that it doesn't matter too much. But the Outlaw coming in, closing them all up. Little Bunny Rabbit, his energy economy is dropping below his metal economy. This is a very bad thing, by the way. You never want your energy economy to drop below your metal. Or energy income, rather, to drop below your metal. And that's exactly what it's doing for him while Anakin is taking the map. Anakin now has double the metal income that Little Bunny Wabbit has. So Anakin is turning this game around. Now if Anakin just gets... Oh, there we go. I was going to say he gets another factory. And he has. He's gone to Gunship Plant. Getting some Banshees with that. That is very effective. He's continuing to... Well, not even harass. He doesn't even have to harass anymore. He's continuing to expand. And some harassment in the back here. Basically just closing up the power plants. Locking down Little Bunny Wabbit's overdrive. Very good idea. And the Banshees could not have come at a better time. These Zeuses are going to take out the ground forces fairly effectively, although they're actually not doing too badly against the Banshees either. Still, that it can only hit one or the other. The thing is, Zeus is one of his big advantages is the fact that it does have some splash damage on its lightning gun. I mean, the EMP is a huge part. But if its splash damage is neutralized by the fact that it's shooting air and most of the rest of the forces are ground, that will help. And again, we're pushing those Zeuses away making sure that they are not dealing any meaningful damage. He did lose the bandits, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Still, more are coming where that came from in the first place, and Anarchid is spending the money he has. He's got 43 metal now with the reclaim coming in. A couple of caretakers on a shield bot factor. He is pushing forward very heavily, while Little Bunny Wabbit is stagnating. He has his commander assisting his factory, and that's helping out, getting more Zeus's. And enough Zeus is actually taking out Anakin's commander, however, at this point, not a big deal. Anakin's economy is not at all based on his commander anymore. Though, he is also behind for energy. He actually does need to get more power. He doesn't have enough of that yet. But the big concern for him is going to be these Zeus's. They are pushing it fairly effectively, and while Anakin can get a large army that they're not the biggest deal, he's losing a lot of forces to them. He's not building up his army beforehand. These Rogues are going to be, however, very effective if if the Zeus's can be distracted by frontline raider units and possibly outlaws. The rogues will be able to handle them very effectively since skirmishers just do well against assault units. The Zeus's have too short of a range to really matter for the rogues, assuming the rogues are out of range. While Banshee's trying to get rid of these defense turrets in order to open up harassment to the north and ultimately break Little Bunny Wabbit by economy. At this point, Anarchid has been ahead for about three or four minutes. 
and it's starting to pay off, but really the Zeus's that were built are doing a great job. And Jethro's coming in, anti-air bots for the Cloakies coming in and will be effective at getting rid of the gunships. At this point, no Banshees are up and doing much. Actually, a Black Dawn being built instead. Very heavy assault gunship. Very powerful manual fire rocket attack. I'm guessing... Not even guessing. Anarchid's going to be using that manual rocket attack to take care of all these uses in one fell swoop. And then go for a final counterattack. That's his plan, I'm sure. And he does actually have a fairly powerful ground here. Ground army, I don't think he even needs to do that at this point. He just needs to get these outlaws in range to slow them down enough that his rogues can hit those Zeus's. And even without that, the rogues are still hitting the Zeus's pretty well. One of them going down, another one at half health, and the last one a little above half health. So right now we see the little bunny rabbit is going for a bit of a counter harassment. A little bit later than it would have been useful, but still counter harassment. The little bunny rabbit actually starting to equalize his economy. Having 22 metal, or sorry, 20 metal income to 33. It's not great, but it's something. It's He's starting to equalize it a bit. Black Dawn using its manual fire attack on a single glaive. Definitely very important glaive, though, given that the glaive is harassing directly and there's no other defenses there. Ultimately getting rid of it at the cost of his own metal extractor. Bit of a risky move there, but metal extractors are fairly cheap. And Anarchy continuing his winning strategy of sending roaches into battle to just thin out little bunny rabbit's forces. Black Dawn coming in here, trying to get, well... Trying to not die to these Jethro's, that's the important thing. These Jethro's are forcing it back into the center of the map, whereupon nothing really will happen, so there's nothing there to actually defend against it. Whereupon it will destroy Anarchid's own forces. Remember, Anarchid, friendly fire isn't friendly. But I can't blame him too much, I like the guy. He's an okay guy. And very skilled player, I'm sure that was... Of course, that was unintentional, it's just... Quirk of the game physics. You can fire upon your own units if you so choose. However thing here is Anarchid has had an economic advantage for about three or four minutes. Little Bunny Rabbit has he's counter harassing quite effectively. He has pretty much neutralized his advantage. There is enough reclaim to keep it up for a while but Anarchid's advantage in economy is now kind of falling apart. However he was able to pr largely translate that into a military advantage mostly by way of the Black Dawn. This thing needs to not die. And of course continuous roach attacks are always handy. These felons Sorry, sorry, rogues. I keep saying felons. Felons are a different shield unit. They actually would be very useful in this case. Rogues are the skirmishers. Felons are more of a shielded skirmisher unit that uses shields as energy for dealing a lot of damage. And Anarchid has built none of those. Can't say I really blame him. You kind of need a lot of them for them to be useful and... Or you need a lot of shields. Tick, however, being here and apparently being spotted. I think Anarchid is aware that this tick is here. Yeah, he appears to be aware that it's there. The radar sees it. The... Rogues do not, and they are missing it. They will all be going down to a tick explosion right about now. Four, five rogues are disabled, while a bunch of glaives coming from the south. Little Bunny Rabbit may have an economic disadvantage, but it's not that big, especially not anymore. These glaives have been doing a great job counter harassing, and that job is going to pay off fairly soon. Laser just doing what they can. We'll be able to get rid of maybe half the glaives at most, but the glaives will be able to get rid of both lasers without too much issue. Roach! Getting rid of yet another set of glaives, another pair of glaives. But the glaives, after half a dozen die, take out these metal extractors. And Little Bunny Web, I believe, has an economic, economic advantage for the first time in this game. No, he does not. Not quite. That reclaim is still paying off dividends for Anarchid. That being said, though, he's... He really has to push out, and he is pushing out, going for a final assault on Little Bunny Rabbit's base. Little Bunny Rabbit doesn't have much of a military anymore. He lost a lot of his glaives taking out these metal extractor points, and it looks like he is resigning. That is the game Little Bunny Rabbit has thrown in the towel. That was certainly interesting. So if you enjoyed that, and I will be back shortly with another game. And I'm crossing my fingers that I won't be back with more freezing. Just, I'll hope that it doesn't screw up. Also, I put a fan on, so it might cool off the room a bit. I don't know if heat's a problem, but if it is, that should help. Stay tuned!